So how I would do that is I'm going to zoom out a bit or yeah, zoom out. So I'm going to do command, hold command down and press up on my keyboard and that just kind of zooms things out. I'm going to delete these tracks. We'll add a new software instrument track, but we'll go to our quick sampler. Um, here it is. I'm going to open up the file browser again. It will default go back to the original place it was. What I'm going to do is drag a sample in. Let's not get too picky about what these are right now. I'm going to drag this in and it's going to give me two options. Do you want to do original, use the original tuning loudness, or do you want to optimize for tuning and loudness? I usually just go original. On my MIDI keyboard, I'm pressing notes and you can see it actually being triggered here. And I'm not sure why I can't hear anything. Yeah, it's because things are soloed. So make sure that soloed is off. I have record. So I'm just going to say vocal sample. And I'm going to open up my Q sampler again. So if I press like C, I'm just pressing the C note on my MIDI keyboard. Now, now that happens. If I just press it quickly, if I hold it, it plays the whole sample. If I do C sharp, it's a pitch up. If I go to D, I, you can see I can play any type of pitch on my MIDI keyboard now using this exact sample. So we can kind of use it as an instrument. I can play chords too. That's a C major chord. Let's say I just wanted to use a specific piece of the sample. We would drag these and find that specific piece we like. Let's say it's this part. And we can test it out by pressing the note. Let's say we like actually this here. Or this piece here. Kind of sounds a bit funny. Maybe just that part. So let's fade it in here. Like this, maybe. Let's use that. So we can X this down. We can record, arm it, and record over what we've done here. And I'm just gonna play on my MIDI keyboard, try to find something. That wasn't recording, was it? Why wasn't that working? Oh, did I press record? I don't think I did. Something that's an idea. And you can see it's come in with MIDI notes. So I can double click on that and open my piano roll editor. Let me just close this down and you can see that they're just MIDI notes. So I can quantize these, I can stretch them, do anything as I would with MIDI. More on MIDI, at MIDI editing in the next section. I could quantize this by doing Command A, quantizing. Now you can see what that sounds like in context. I'll just cycle it at the top and press spacebar. <laughs> What would sound cool if I put a lot of reverb on that? So I can go to my plugin window and go down to reverb, space designer reverb, for example, stereo. And let's look at the preset. So let's go to factory default here where our presets are. We can look at all the presets, large, medium, small. Let's do a big, large reverb. Let's do a indoor space, maybe a bright, a, a big gothic church, an 8.7 second reverb, and bump up the wetness so it sounds really, really wet. Let's see what that sounds like. Now I'm not bussing up this reverb, so keep that in mind right now. Mm -hmm. 
how we would use samples quickly, loading them in and programming them quickly on our keyboard so we can use them as an instrument. Let's move on to section four of this video now where we talk about editing audio and MIDI with using the available tools that Logic gives you. And I do want to reference these tools.